yeah, there was that Cleveland Clinic study, anti-vaxxers are throwing around about more doses being linked to greater risk of infection. Curious your thoughts on that. Yeah, I did actually plan to cover that too. So I have it right here. All right, so this one, this one was also making the rounds. Uh, this Cleveland Clinic study where um, it, it was a really weird study. Um, so essentially when the bivalent vaccine was released, that was their study start date. And they were just measuring COVID infection uh, by positive uh, PCR. And their cohorts that they were comparing were uh, numbers of doses uh, versus, um, yeah, yeah, just numbers of doses. So like this is the graph that's going around uh, where it shows zero doses, has the least cumulative incidences of COVID-19, and three doses appear to have the highest. But some things to note about this, again, you have to look at the study design. Uh, right off the bat, this y-axis is not huge. There's, there aren't huge differences here. And with the study design, you know, uh, you're looking at a patient population where you're starting on a specific date of vaccine rollout. You're not starting on a specific date of like day, day zero being when you got a vaccine or when you got an infection. Um, it's just choosing a particular start date and looking at the number of incidences. Um, they also don't break down their population by things like um, healthcare workers. So are these people who got three doses or two doses, are they seeing COVID patients and more likely to test positive uh, than people who report that they got zero doses? Uh, there are lots of things like this throughout the study that just make it a really like weird to interpret study design. But we can also uh, we can also look at other data sets, right? To say, okay, um, do more vaccine doses actually increase your risk of getting infected? Uh, so we can go back to this data set, look at cases, and we see that well, uh, not really. There's still a gap between unvaccinated and vaccinated when it comes to cases. So, uh, the other thing to con the other thing to think about here is that this is looking at again cases. This is not looking at severe outcomes. So, anti-vaxxers throwing this around, saying that COVID vaccines are going to hurt your immune system or whatever they're using it to say. Um, it ignores the fact that it's not measuring what vaccines are meant to do, which is prevent severe illness and death. And again, that's what vaccines continue to do really, really well. So this study is just, it's honestly not informative at all. It, it does not teach us anything, I don't think. Um, maybe it'll be better when it goes through peer review, but as it stands now, it's just not a useful study, but anti-vaxxers cherry pick it out and spread it like it's gospel.